since I was away in the UK, and then also since I never drive my car, I just don't move it. And apparently that's illegal. And you have to move your car every three days, or it's illegal. So the police called me and said someone reported my vehicle as abandoned. And I'm pissed. Sid, I'm a criminal. Thank you for the 27 months. What kind of busybody even notices? They're probably like, I want that parking space. Because there's never any fucking parking outside. Because it's parallel parking with no lines. And so the way that everyone fucking parks is that they think parallel parking means leave a, an inordinate okay. amount of room in between the cars so that no That's one else either. can park correctly. They marked my tires with paint so that they could tell if I move my car. And then they put a sticker on the front windshield that said your car has been reported- the cops did. That said your car has been reported as uh, abandoned and it had the dates on it and stuff. So the policeman on the phone says, someone reported your car as being abandoned. I said, no, that's incorrect. I just don't go anywhere. I'm being picked on for being a weirdo. And so they were like, okay, we'll just move your car a little bit so that the lines aren't straight up. And then also take the sticker off of the window. And so I go to take the sticker off. And it's the kind of sticker that I peel it and it leaves all of the paper underneath in streaks. So only the top bit of the sticker came off. So it's a actual vising, visible vision hazard. I've got to use a fucking razor blade and rubbing alcohol or nail polish remover. And then I drove forward and I was going to just park in my same spot but just a little bit more forward because there was enough room to not be an asshole if I did that. So I pull my car forward and as soon as I pull it forward enough where there's space behind me, I, I look out and I make sure that the lines are not in the same spot as they originally were, which they were. So I was like, okay, I need to back up a little bit. And then this woman, who looks like the woman that would report me for this, she did look like a Karen, starts pulling in behind me, and I'm like, are you fucking serious? You can see my reversing lights are on. And so she, she starts pulling in with my reversing lights on, so I'm like, okay. She pulls into the spot, and I've got a car in front of me that I pulled forward pretty close to, but not like mega mega close to, because I had room behind me to move, like I was originally going to. And then she pulled up so close to me that I didn't know how far behind her, or far behind me that her car was. So she gets out, she sees me waiting in my car, and I feel like she kept trying to make eye contact with me, and so I just didn't fucking look at her. I was like, are you serious? She goes inside of her apartment building next door to mine. And then I have to turn my wheel all the way so that I can back up and get out. And then I went forward a little bit and pulled into another spot. And every time I parked, my tires were in the same position, with the paint being up and down. So I kept having to fucking just pull forward a little bit. But I didn't want to leave, like, not enough room for someone. Or too much room, but not enough for someone to pull into. So I was getting pissed, because I was in between two cars. And then I finally said, you know what? If someone's gonna report me for never moving my car, I'm gonna make this difficult on everyone else. I'm going to be passive aggressive. And so I also had to consider how the paint on my tires looked because I had to make sure that the police could tell that I moved my car. So I parked in a passive aggressive way. And also because if I moved forwards enough or backwards enough, the lines were going to be in the same position that they were before. And so I had to park 
so that no one could park in front of me or behind me, but there was way too much room where if I had pulled forward or backwards enough, another car could have fit in. And you know what? I don't give a fuck. Because I can't leave my car in the parking space out in front of my apartments because y'all can't learn to fucking park or park on the next street over. And I am pissed. And the other reason I don't move my car is because I don't want to fucking parallel park it. I hate doing that shit. There you go. I don't want a car anymore. And I'm pissed. Someone had to be nosy. And you know what? Someone about to get their tires slashed. <laughs> if I figure out the motherfucker that did it. You know what? We got too many fucking people parking their shitty ass cars outside worrying about mine. Okay? I almost am gonna do that, Fav, to keep it just to annoy them. And you know the other thing I'm gonna do? I'm home during the day when everyone else goes to work. And you know what that means? Everyone fucking leaves their favorite parking spots. The ones right out in front of their apartment. Guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go fucking park in the great spots because everyone's at work. As soon as the three days pass that the police said they were gonna come back, that's the fuck it, dog. You about to rue the day you reported my car as abandoned because you ain't... You about to never get your parking spot back. I'ma rotate to every prime parking spot on this fucking block, dude. I'ma reverse, put my thing down, flip it and reverse it. And you will rue the day that you fucking crossed me, dude. I'ma get a sticker on my car. It says, the next person that reports my car is abandoned. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I thought of a threat and I couldn't- I couldn't commit to any of them. I don't know how to threaten people. I just know how to be mad. You like my inspirational music happening while I'm talking about how fucking pissed off I am. I don't do anything to harm anybody. Ever. Move my car as a point redeem? You know what? What time is it in Florida right now? Y'all got five minutes so I can go fuck someone's day up by moving my car? Y'all got five minutes? Fucking tell me to do it. I will be right back. <laughs> Cross me. Cross me one more time. Cross me again. Take this pig while I'm gone. I did it! And I did it in the best way possible. Can I pick that dog? I did it in the best way fucking possible. I'm about to tell you. Did you take three spots? No. But here's what I did. So I was parked about three s or four spots ahead of the par the spot that I normally park in, the one that my car was sitting in before, right? So I looked as I left my apartment, and my spot that I was normally in has an expensive ass car in it. It's a Lexus SUV. Dem shit's expensive. The spot behind the spot that I normally park in empty 
with another spot behind it, which means that I don't have to parallel park. And it means I can just pull right into it. And so, I got in my car, I had to shoo away a little meow meow, and I drove around the block just once, just for fun, just as a little, just as a little snippet. This one's for you! <laughs> Hello, Dimitri Neo. The logo is Demones Queen Boba. Cœur, how are you? Also, why pass V? Clan d'oeil. Thank you. I drove around, mm, just as a little snack. It's hot as fuck outside, though. And I drove around and I went down the alleyway instead of all the way the other block. Someone tried to pull in the alleyway. Bitch! You're not doing the flow of traffic, fool. They had to go around. Yes, they did. Only one room for... Only car... F you know what I mean. One car at a time down that alleyway. Be gone, fuck! Me to the person trying to pull into the alleyway when I'm driving it. What the fuck is that, dude? Who are you? Who are you and what have you done? This person loves passive aggressive behavior. Thank you so much. Holy shit. <laughs> is this because of what I did to my car? <laughs> Damn, that's a big prank. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Or a misclick. Thank you. Um, and so I went around the corner. And I pulled into the spot directly behind the one that I usually do that now has an expensive Lexus-ass car in it. And I get out of my car to make sure that the tires don't have it in the same spot. The tire in the front, from here to here. The tire in the back, from here, down to here. So they know I fucking drove it, dude, instead of just going forward. Amazing. Amazing. I've had the shit-eatingest grin on my face the whole way around. Because I said, I hope whoever did this is watching. Anyways. You guys enabled me, so I think my descent into madness is also on your shoulders, if only entirely on your shoulders. <laughs> I think actually you are the ones that drove the car, so maybe you should feel bad about that. Maybe you should. But also, you know I wanted to do that. Yeah,